So what we want to do now is we want to play exactly what Stephen A. Smith had to say about LeBron James to Donis Haslam, and then we want to come back and react to his comments. Take a listen to that there. LeBron. I don't have the greatest relationship with LeBron James. I don't give a damn about not having the greatest relationship with LeBron James. But I know he's great. I know he's a great father, a great family man, a great basketball ambassador, a great role model. I want him to get an ownership stake in the new Las Vegas franchise mm. that the NBA decides to do an expansion franchise. I want all of that. You think I enjoy having to say, yo, bro, you were scared to shoot in the fourth quarter in that final series against Dallas. I don't enjoy it. We talk basketball, which was what used to piss me off about LeBron. The second you, you, you give him major props for what he accomplished, he soak it all in. The second you criticize him, well, you know, I'm just trying to be here for the kids and, you know, just trying to do what's right for the community. And it, it pissed me off because that was a slick way of taking attention away from the basketball element and making it about something other than basketball, which was what we were talking about. So you heard what Stephen A. Smith had to say there. And yo, before I continue on, Shout out to Gilbert Arenas. I've been hearing that a lot of people, a lot of people have been messaging me, telling me that uh, uh, Gilbert Arenas is jacking jack the swag right now. Uh, he, he was using twerking it up yesterday on his show. <laughs> Shout out to him. It's amazing. All of these uh, LeBron platforms that sit up there and twerk it up all over the place, and, you know, knock over people's drinks, just gyrate all over the place, just, you know, slap each other with honey, rub it up, rub it on each other's backs and just, just basically just, just, just act like flat out lunatics. It's amazing that he doesn't, he doesn't quote y'all. Like why he don't be why he ain't got no what's going on? Hmm? I'm I'm gonna let y'all rock out. Anyway, I'm not gonna hold you. Let me, let, let's just let's just continue on with the show. What do I think about what Stephen A. Smith had to say? My first thought is about damn time. About damn time. What surprises me is that why a lot of other people in sports media don't take this position. Here's what I don't get. A lot of people in media that sit up there and twerk it up every single day on TV. And basically find ways to triangulate into a particular position, which is we're just not going to we're just going to stick our head in the sand and not say and not say the obvious thing. The vast majority of these people are millionaires, so it's not like a if these like man, if I get it wrong, I may lose some money. The vast majority of them are millionaires. So my question is, why are you afraid to speak your mind? Ain't you? Don't you got money? Like I can understand. Okay, if I'm trying to get a bag, I'm trying to secure a bag, so I need to be careful of what I say. I don't want to turn off anyone. I don't want to create enemies. I don't want anyone. Blah 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 blah. But when you're a made man or made woman, why are you still up there twerking it up every single day and just basically disturbing the peace? I, I don't understand it. Just basically polluting the airwaves, just polluting the airwaves with their nonsense. So to hear Stephen A. Smith say that, it's like about damn time. Stephen A. Smith is on the verge of signing a $125 million contract with ESPN as an extension. You about to sign a $125 million contract and you afraid to speak your mind. Like I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. And it seems like a lot of people are running and hiding for the hills. You can see it. It's transparent as day. Very few people I have noticed by following these people very close. And I'm a very observant person. I look at them and very few people are willing to say the damn truth about what they're seeing. Most of them are just so afraid to say this because, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. Who cares? Speak your mind. Speak your mind. State the obvious. Like, just say what you think. 